uh, I'm popularly known as Aluma. They call me Aluma. Uh, this is the long-awaited day that we have been waiting for, that we have been fighting for. At a time like this, with mixed feelings, I'm talking with tears in my eyes. We are your children. We went to the bush. You people abandoned us. We feel that we were maltreated as Anglophones. We thought that fighting the government would solve the problem. But thank God that today, God has touched our hearts. Our government, we as individuals, the national dialogue has been called. Though we are standing here with blood, on our hands. Our brothers have been killed, the boots are. Property have been damaged. What then can we say? We only say, God, help us. And we pray for the government to forgive us. We have sinned against God. We have sinned against the nation. We are sorry. Take us back as your children. We were your children. The government abandoned us. Some people from the diaspora, they doctrine us because we feel that we were abandoned and we listen to their advice. Look where we find ourselves today. But thank God for this long awaited day that we have been fighting for. I thank God for the governor of the Northwest and his collaborators that they have been working day and night to see that peace return to North, Northwest as normal. Now, as we here have come for the dialogue, we believe that as the head of state has forgiven us and take us back as the political son, we will help the government to see that peace should return to this country. Thanks be to God and thanks be to our section president, Tan Fomingala Gerard, that he has been working so much in Dongamatu restlessly. I can only shake you. Okay. So many people have gone. Our sisters have gone, property. Let this dialogue be inclusive and sincere. Please, you people should not abandon us again. Look where we find ourselves today. But I know that God will see us through. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's okay, man. Hello, uh, mesdames et messieurs les journalistes. 